Hi guys, um, it's Peter from Too Fussy Blogs again. Um, on today's video, uh, we're going to be showing uh, the difference between Dacron and microfiber rollers. Um, just before we start, remember to wash your rollers before you start your job. It's very important and you can check that video how to actually prepare your roller for your job when you subscribe to our channel, YouTube channel right here. Um, so now, two microfiber rollers, 15mm, 10mm and the Dacron. I start with the Dacron roller. So we've got a lot of questions online, what is the Dacron roller? So just to explain very um, briefly, this roller puts a lot of paint on the wall, which we see it as a sort of um, roller to use on undercoats or on the surfaces which require very good coverage and that's exactly what the roller does. Um, it's only for water-based paints but um, it's, it's brilliant. We're going to be showing um, also how the 10mm and 15mm microfiber works with the primers just to show you that they're actually not that suitable rollers um, for priming. Uh, you can be used, but we wouldn't recommend it. This roller will uh, be fantastic once you have your um, cluster ball sealed and you do the top coats. Absolutely recommending any of those two. Probably 10 mil on the new surface, 15 mil for already painted or slightly textured surfaces. So let's get to it. Um, I'm gonna get the rollers uh, prepped up for the painting and see you in a moment. Right guys, so um, we're ready with the 10 mil microfiber, uh, which I'm gonna be in a moment um, applying onto the plasterboard. Um, it's already pre-washed and loaded, so uh, we are ready to go. Well, it's a bit of awkward in the right in the corner as there's not much space there but uh, we'll show you a close-up once the paint dries um, actually what is the coverage of the 10 mil so next one up will be 15 mil go in the middle of the wall um, and let's see what the results we come up with So done, so next one up will be Dacron. So guys, this is the last um, roller we're gonna be trailing today, uh, Dacron 10 mil. Um, so like I explained earlier in the video, this is the roller that we mostly recommend for undercoats as performs the best. So let's get to it and see how it compares with the other two. There you go. And there will be some close-up shows to guys to show you the texture of each finish, um, just to give you an idea what those rollers actually uh, do. So um, thanks a lot for watching and we'll catch you next time. Cheers.